Hey there, I'm Slater and today I'm going to be checking out the Coma 2 Vicious Sisters. I don't know exactly what to expect so I'm just going to start the game. You know a game is going to be a good one when the first quest is go to the bathroom. And is Red Alert code for something? Also I feel like it's worth mentioning that our teacher's nickname is Mad Dog. Might be a little bit important. I guess this means I gotta hurry on over to the bathroom. After I talk to literally Evan on the floor of course. Alright so I'll give you a quick rundown of what's going on so you're not completely oblivious of the story. Basically Mina's best friend fell into a coma three weeks ago and when they found his body he had this pendant grip tightly in his hand. We don't know what it is or what it does. And from talking to a bunch of random people, we learned that tonight there's a super blood moon, which I'm guessing is like a blood moon that was born on a Krypton or something. Also apparently this guy here is just horrified of Mina for some reason. I guess it's time to handle this red alert bathroom. Oh my. I believe Dahoon is the one who's having the uh, red alert. Isn't that a vendor for red alerts right there? Oh, well, looks like female student number 5 e's having a clog alert. Is that a bad joke? Apparently red alert means that hunky baseball star wrote me a letter. It says, hey babe, we're way past the ninth inning. How about we stop playing coy and go steady? Circle one, yes or no? Um, yeah? Who could say no to that? Apparently Mana here can. How could you? Even Squeezy here agrees with me. This is an absolute no-brainer, Mina. Oh, and uh, Scarlet Letter over here forgot her wallet and wants me to buy her some food while she casually lingers in the bathroom a little bit more. Means I gotta head downstairs and into the cafeteria. So she said she wants an Ohana bar and that is- wait, I have 10,000 won, how much is that? Apparently just under $9. Jockey bar purchased, headed to bathroom, and looks like bathroom came to find me. Ooh, baseball superstars on his way here, and Mina's scared of love. So I've been trying to come up with something easier to call Da Hyun, and I thought Scarlet Letter was going to be a good one, but Baseball Superstar here just gave me the perfect nickname, Rashi. Wait, did this guy just sell me out? Oh, no, 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 no. Napoleon here has noticed Mina, but Superstar still doesn't know somehow. Superstar here just wants his pizza bread. <gasps> A2 Rashi? Mina's heart can't handle this, you know that. Mina apparently bolted and now Rashi is not happy with her. Rashi just went back in there, okay. But Mina's got bigger fish to fry, like getting to class on time. Looks like we got a new supermodel English teacher. I'm sure he's gonna be somehow important story-wise. Wait, we got a smoking hot English teacher and we get out early? Isn't that already kind of dark out? Like, how early is early? 10 o'clock apparently. Don't worry, this is a perfectly normal time for school to get out. At school, late, super blood moon. I just sure hope nothing bad happens. Oh no, something bad happened. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, it all started 45 seconds ago. I'd just gotten my first B on an assignment and was pretty devastated when I noticed my classmate Napoleon headed into an abandoned storage closet. Curiosity overcame me and I followed him in. Now you might not know this, but Napoleon's the president of the Magic Club here on campus, so it was no surprise to me that the room was completely empty. And that's when I noticed it. Napoleon's magic book. Temptation overcame me, so I tried to sneak a peek. And well, that leads me to where I am right now. Unconscious and on the ground. Okay, I really hope that was worth it by the way. This video is 100% getting claimed for a bad joke. There's a bunch of strangers over Mina's unconscious body, and they left her for dead. Now Mina's awoken in a tentacle paradise. Oh, they didn't just leave me to die, they also left me the slider, which apparently attracts some monster that's gonna try and kill me. Nice. So Napoleon's magic book doubles as a save location for me. I'm hoping Mina doesn't keep up this bad habit of passing out every time she opens it. Well, damn. Just kidding, that's what we call video magic. I led you to believe that Mina had passed out again, but she was actually safely standing here in the tentacle realm all along. Isn't technology wonderful? Now I don't want those things finding me, so I'm just gonna keep this off for now. And Mina takes one step outside and flips it back on. At least it was to warn me for something important though, falling bodies. Every door I've checked so far on this floor is just locked. 
Got one. Now Mina gets to learn how to hide. Still don't know what I'm supposed to be hiding from, but at least I know I can. So Mina here actually knows the exact species of tentacles these are. Kinda makes you wonder what she's been reading in her free time. Also just lying around, there's these random crates that have goodies inside. Goodies being 500 won. Alright, looks like I found a tentacle realm vending machine. Also I forgot to mention that I bought some pepper spray earlier when I got the uh, Ohana bar for Rashi, which explains where 2500 won went and why I have this icon next to my inventory. And the doors are locked so my goal right now is to get out of the building I guess. How do I do that? Well apparently the door just tells me. Gotta go back to the cafeteria. Ooh, falling bodies. I forgot about those. I actually forgot about those. So I think these overhang things have a chance of like spawning a falling body or something. So every time I come across one, I'm just gonna hit the dodge button and hope that works. And I'm back in the cafeteria. Should probably get some chocolate to heal the flesh wound. So whenever Mina like sees something move, she immediately turns the light on to make her presence known and then calls out to them. No Mina. I don't think they're okay. Wait, it stopped moving. I'll still dodge just in case. Now there's another save location here. Looks like the west gate is locked as well. Mina tells me this time, gotta check behind the bar. Ah, there is a hastily written memo that I can totally read. And a keycard. I'm guessing this is what the memo says. I need to go to security and get a second keycard. That's for the underground parking lot. So there's two different keycards to this building, one for the parking lot and then one for the actual building. Dodge past them again. Oh, I think they're actually dead this time. So there's a keycard here, but apparently it needs power. The game has yet to tell me to turn the electricity back on though, so I'm guessing the door is gonna have like a battery or something. Or something. Now the left side of this room isn't lighting up, so there's probably something over there. It was a dead body. An actual dead guy. So Mina finds a dead body and just instantly goes for his wallet. Looks like he also had the parking lot pass on him though, so this is a good thing. This means I gotta head down to the basement now. Apparently out of everything that's happened tonight, the worst thing is that Mina's underground right now. She found a dead guy, she woke up in a tentacle hell, but man, I can't believe I'm underground right now. This is the worst. So I found the generator to turn the power on, which I will need to do in order to get into the parking lot. Alright everyone, clench your butt cheeks, pressing the button. There you go, nailed it. Mina hears ominous footsteps just slowly encroaching on her, and she calls out to them. Yeah! Oh, that is probably not a good sign. Maybe if I turn the light off. Oh, did not work. That did not work. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, Mina's just gonna escape and get hit by a truck or a motorcycle. Oh, no, nice. So he just saves her and brought her back to the police station. I'm sure she's gonna be safe here. And I think this is a good place to end the video. I hope you had as much fun watching this as I had making it. As always, I am Slater and thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.